Yo, what's going on guys? Today it's Call of Duty World War 2 and it's an open beta for the PC right now you on Steam. If you want to go and check it out, be free. Go install it. It's for free, totally for free. You just install it and play the game. I was really hyped and when I saw it on Steam for free, I just couldn't resist and I had to go inside because I'm a huge World War 2 fan. Um, I'm a nerd totally when it comes to World War 2s. I've been reading a lot about it when I was in high school. And I loved every game about this World War II, basically. Like, the, one of my favorites is definitely the Medal of Honor Allied Assault and Call of Duty, uh, the second game that came out. That was like a long time ago. Anyways, uh, I want to talk about this game. It got me really hyped and I was really excited for it, but I was... I ended up being very disappointed. And the reason for that is... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name a couple of reasons why I'm really disappointed. And... It's not the gameplay itself, I couldn't really enjoy the gameplay. Game, game felt really clunky and laggy at the same time. I don't know if it, if it was the server that we were playing on, or if, if it's the game itself, or if it's a specific issue with my graphics card, but I definitely wasn't the only one that was, that was, that was experiencing it. And I asked in chat if anybody else was experiencing this, and they said, yeah, so, yeah. It's not a very good start for the open beta, in my opinion, so, yeah, I hope it's just a server issue. Would be really a bad thing for such a big company as Activision to put out a game that is really not well optimized, you know? Like I said, the game felt really clunky and I couldn't really enjoy it because my head started to hurt like after 10 minutes of gameplay because it was so hard to keep track and so hard to shoot at somebody. I mean, you can see the gameplay in the background, it's like... It's clunky, it's laggy at the Stay same time, and you can't shots. really aim. And I was even surprised I got to kill anybody, you know, honestly. Now, one thing that I really, now one thing that I really like about this game is the customization. You can, now you can go into your, now you can customize your soldiers as much as you would like, and I think that's a that's a great feature. I like that, you know, gives you gives you more variety, and having customization is never a bad thing. Yeah. But the one thing that really pissed me off to no extent was. So you could only choose like optimal and advanced settings. What optimal settings did for me, it's it moved the game to my secondary screen, which is really bad. It's just, it's an old p it's an old screen that I use just for like uh, just for when I'm recording something, and I just move like my browser to the left side, and I have some some stuff on the left side, which is really not not important. But I'm not really playing games on that one because the refresh rate is not that good, and my head starts hurting, you know. So I'm using this one, and it moves it. So it says optimal settings and it moves it over to my secondary screen, which is really ridiculous. In the settings, I can't really change anything. I can't even change, can't change even the, like the, the most basic, basic settings. If I wanted to change my textures, if I want to change, change shadows, if I want to change, if I wanted to change anti-aliasing or something like that, any, any, any basic change that you have in any game in 2017, you cannot do in Call of Duty. You can basically just go in there, change blood, some basic settings and choose optimal settings but guess what if you have two screens it might move it to another screen if you want this game to succeed like any other game you need to have proper settings you need to have the proper settings for it i think that's one of the main issues that i had with the game I'm probably gonna give the game another try maybe tomorrow or something like that and see if the servers if that it was really maybe an issue just you know caused by the server or something like that but I highly doubt it. I think it might be specific to my graphics card. Let me just tell you guys, I got a beast PC. It's not up to my PC. My PC can handle any modern games right now, even at high resolutions and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't think it's my PC and I've already checked it and it checked out totally fine. I know the game is still in open beta and there's a couple of things they can change. But so far, you know, I wouldn't buy the game. Like with the experience that I had in the, in the open beta just now, I wouldn't buy the game, mm, not at all. They might change some things these days, and you can actually go in and have a have a great experience, like a flawless, not so leggy, clunky game experience, and you might enjoy the game. I mean, that's what Call of Duty known for. It has a it has a story mode, and it has a deathmatch, team deathmatch, and stuff like that. And you just go in, and you're right into the action. And there's no there's not a lot of bullshit. And I kind of missed World War II games that are that are set up like this. And yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they will fix that shit. You guys, be the judge. You can, you can still download the game, open beta, and install it for yourself. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope they're gonna change some of these things, and hopefully I can get a get a good experience during the open beta, and give you my give you my thoughts on the game then. Yeah, until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Have you have you played the game? Have you experienced any issues like this, like like myself? And yeah, please leave a like, helps the channel a lot, and 
Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah.